guys, welcome back. Minecraft with me, Sid. Okay, um, there's old giant witchy poos, and we've done some work. We got that wee beastie built over there. This is um, a giant Enderman King, um, another statue for the Halloween decoration. He is accessible via a ladder through his leg there. And if I can just zoom up here a bit, there is a door here so you can get into him. You can use his little viewing platform, come up to his eyes and look out. And you can even walk down onto this chunk of land that I've cut out, which is a 16 by 16 cube. Um, you double scale, basically. Um, and the idea is he scooped up this plot of land with this house on it. So the last thing I want to do in terms of mob decorations, well not the last thing, I may do a creeper somewhere, but for this is I want to do a shop uh, the, uh, so the, I want the shop to be Halloween if I so that's I think that's right two four six eight yep that's right this guy is going to be double scale again and So each block represents one pixel on the model. So that's a two, to do, to do, to do. And at the bottom, I'm going to have some uh, an admin shop selling Halloweeny items. So you know, cobwebs, jack o' lanterns, anything else I can think of. Maybe even sell some bat spawn eggs, even though bats do spawn. The possibly quite fun. And maybe I don't know if I can get the. Um, chest shop plugin to do it I may even do some fireworks so that's one that's two so this comes up like that so again this is going to be a big build it's going to be a big fella and Now, technically these should be blue, but blue stained clay is purple. I suppose I could. Let me just try this with... I don't want to use lapis, that's going to be a bit garish. Uh, let's try that. Too light. Too, too... Oh, that's one too many as well. No, it's going to have to be that. Oh, God. Get there. Right. And then once we've got this lot out of the way, um, as I say, I'm probably going to do a creeper somewhere because you can't have a Halloween monster mash without creepers. You know, it's just not done. Okay, so what's that? That's one. I've done it up. Oh, God almighty, I'm making more mistakes on this. Right. We'll get there. Now the legs are 12, because he's a standard human sized mob, and I'm sure you've already guessed what he is, judging just by the the bottom block there. Um, so he's going to be a huge zombie. And so that takes me up three picks, three of the 12. And then if we go, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right, bring in some uh, world edit trickery just to speed this along. Uh, what's what comes? I think uh, item info. It's eleven. Uh, 35 at 11, where are we? Bang, and bang. 35 11. And 35 11. Chunk, we 35 11. Now the only question I've got to answer for myself then is, oops, get that down one, is do I make the shop in 
the base at the bottom of his legs and I'm going to mix up some different colours into this as well or do I build them up in his head so we've got one, so two now this one here should be pardon me try, I'm going to try the light blue but again I find this has got a little bit too much purple to it. Well, we'll give it a try. Oops, no. So that's there, uh, there, and then there, and there. Do do do. Mm. And get this rattled in fairly quickly. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this episode fairly short because. I know my Magic Farm episodes have definitely been overrunning recently. Um, as much as I try to keep them short, I just get carried away. And I've also got to work on my little secret Weekend Warriors project. So that's that way. That comes around. That's one, two. Then it comes around here. And then around here and then at the back it's I think it's kind of like this again I'm not worried about pixel perfect anyway that's um, that's for everybody else to worry about <laughs> Do 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 and uh 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 so where were we that's the bottom so that's one two and again this is twenty four so that's four that's five six seven eight nine ten thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Anybody didn't know how to count, that's how you do it. <laughs> um, counting, let's count with Sid. Could be, could be a new LP. I'm sure I've made that joke before. I'll probably have a bit of touch of deja vu there. Ah, uh, now that's not right. That needs to be item info. Oh, bang. Uh oh. Uh, changing between world edit and normal commands. One five nine three. Bang. Where are we? There we go. Chunk. Uh, And last but by no means least. So at the moment it just looks like a huge multicoloured blue box, which well, that's fine I suppose. Um, but then we can bring in, and I'm going to do mainly the dark green. So this is four, well it's actually eight, two, four, six, eight. So that's the scale of and then one two one two fortunately nobody owns these plots that I'm building into so I don't even have to worry too much about that at the moment so I'll get this big zombie head on I think I am going to do the shop in the head it's a shame we haven't got the stained glass because I could have used that for his windows. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 ten. Right, so that should be. Right, what, what colour is that? <laughs> One, five, nine, thirteen. Naturally. I'm going to cheat here. Oh no, I don't want to do that if I want to do it in his head though, do I? Uh, 
in the head or further down, in the head or further down, in the head or further, in the feet. Bang. So that's one honking great big chunk of solid green clay. Uh, right, now I'm just going to pop off and just consult my arms, because I know we have the same colour, so we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, coming out that way, and that's 3, 6, 7, that's going to just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and if I can just double check, that is not intruding in, nope, that's the plot there, good, right, something going on, the zombies when they get to the end they need to have his hands popping out and I can't quite remember the exact layout so I'll be right back ok that's pretty straightforward um, and I can just probably copy this so from there we're coming 8 this way 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and that is the his t-shirt sleeve um, and then if it's 24, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And again, that shouldn't have encro might encroach slightly into uh, that one, but we'll live with that. So we can bring this all the way up. I think that's right. Okay, so... Uh, what was the 1593 I believe bonk bonk thunk and then the green was 13 wasn't it so if I come from ah here to there oh man that <laughs> you would absolutely wet your pants if that walked through the door wouldn't you <laughs> okay and down to here if I go slash slash copy then we can just zoom over the top here and pop this uh, paste and that should give us a a nice big zombie well, a fairly plain zombie at the moment but a nice big one now on the front we went, this is not quite right because you go, let's have a little two there and then like that and then like that. Oops, same again, one, two, three, four. And just get his neck line in. Okay, and I'll be back in a moment. Just want to do a quick consult again, make sure I've got. Okay, the cut detail. myself off short there. <laughs> but his eyes go in like that. Oops, doesn't matter too much because that's cosmetic up here. And no, on the actual model, his nose is actually just a two-dimensional slightly darker square but I think giving him a, a little snub nose like that looks quite cutesy so let's go get rid of some of that black go and just try and lighten those give him a uh, few 
features here. And again, I know zombies don't have mouths on, well, don't have visible mouths on the standard Minecraft figure, but we can make him a little bit, do I make him look a bit friendly? I don't know. Uh, and if we go, where are we? One. Oops. Give him these kind of lines here, that kind of gives him up pantry. That's probably, yeah, that's a bit stupid because, of course, I've done his fingers on the wrong side. He's only got three fingers, he's, um, he's from The Simpsons. Okay, uh, <laughs> sorry, my voice today is cracking a little bit. I don't know why, I've had a bit of a sore throat all day, so... Okay, let's go like that. Bonk, 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 bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Um, if I get... Again, black wool. Put that in the night in the eight slot. And give him a bit more detail. So where are we? Here's the middle, and there's his zipper. Actually, no. I know the pair is on this server. I <laughs> uh, might as well just have drawn him a great big honking sausage poking out and I probably would have uh, elicited less of a response okay and uh, down so what else can we do texture room for a bit anything nothing we've got too much uh, I've got an idea I've got a good idea I hope Right, his mouth is going black for starters. Except for... Hmm, a little bit of blood. Never hurt anybody, did it? Um, Stick a little bit there. It is Halloween after all, the zombies are not supposed to be that friendly. Although I can't remember the last time I actually saw a film in which the zombies were overly friendly. Now I know when we did we did some work on the old server and we were playing around with the uh, idea of a Halloween horror style map. Right, here we go. So, to the middle. Bonk, 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 bonk. So that's where the door's going to be. Let's clear some of this for a while. And we'll start off with... I'm going to go with black stained clay. It's not quite black, but it, it's quite dark. Yeah, on the uh, previous server we started doing like a horror zombie survival map and we had all these um, staff, staff statues and we basically horrored them up and they had intestines hanging out and arms missing. It, it was quite disturbing in a way. <laughs> um, but I don't want this to be too OTT. Just get this done. Right, I'm going to just finish off and get put a roof in above this and um, just tidy up a bit around the place. And we'll be back in a moment just to uh, then start stocking the shop. Um, and because I want the Halloween shop to be good value, I'm going to make it quite cheap as well back in a bit. Okay, so I've 
I've just kind of polished off a bit now. Because I'm in a world god region, um, I don't have to worry about fire spread. So I've illuminated this by dropping lava on the top and does that look like blood? It's dripping from the ceiling. No? Yeah? I like it. So um these are gonna be the shot points. And we're gonna just dress this up a little bit like here in here. And then we're going to be pomp, pomp, plump. Not trying to be too even, but not trying to be too random either, if you know what I mean. Uh, oops, no, not there. Mr. Zombie had one there. Uh, oh, dog's coming through. Tippy tap, tip tap. Let's have a creeper head there and maybe there. Uh, in fact, I'll keep the creeper head in my inventory. Um, we'll have a few dead plants around the place. Right, so in terms of what I am intending to sell in here, and I'll just borrow that for a second. It's things that you would expect to find around on Halloween and with witches and ghosts and ghouls and undead so making it look a little bit run down like that. Um, maybe put a couple of cauldrons in just bear with me a second, I'm going to have to let the dog out, she's tippy-tapping by the door, I think she wants to pee or poop or something like that. Um, fortunately, she does poops and not anvils. <laughs> right, what was I doing? No, I was right. sticking a, couple of co a few cauldrons around, wasn't I? That dog will be back in a moment, wanted to come in and she'll just have to wait. Uh, and let's see, I don't know whether you can... No, you can't. That's a shame. That's a be water in there then. Kind of seems a bit pointless. I would have liked to have some bubbling lava. Okay. And the last thing is signs over each chest. Now, let me go and get the items I'm putting on sale. Uh, oh, and item frames. Dunk, dunk. Okay, so. This one is item, oh God, I can never remember all these, item info, 397, so it's, oh and slash worth, <laughs> typical, oh uh, what shall we give them that, oh God, come back to the skulls because they're not going to have any value, I need to decide what price we're going to charge for them, so much worth. 24. God, I need to get a stack. So I'm not doing the maths. 1,625. So they're not still going to be cheap for a stack. I suppose I could do them at half half stack. Uh, which would be eight, uh, 800 and, and a bit. <laughs> Tell me. 825. Okay, so it's an admin shop. It's for 32. It's buy at 825. And it is, oh god, I can't remember the web. Will that work? Yeah, it did work. Oh, that's surprising. Okay. <laughs> oh, nope, not that. And we'll put that in there. The only reason I'm we're doing them at the same say oh god the same price is because if I do them for less than they can be sold for, then obviously some enterprising little player is going to come along and uh 
buy them here and then sell them for more and spam the system like that. Right, I need an item frame above each chest just to indicate what's in there. Uh, chunk, 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 chunk. And right, so I'll do jack o lanterns, nether rack, and soul sand around here. So, so stack of jack o lanterns because. I mean, a lot of play most players will have the means to make these, but there you go, 2,730, so I've got half stack again. <laughs> if I do them at 16, 714, and uh, what's the item info? 323, so I've been sharp 16 by 714 item 323 oh. <laughs> let's try that again shall we 714 and it is 91 <laughs> Uh, uh, sharp 16, B714, 91. Jack-o-lantern. Much better. Right, well, I'm going to do the rest of these. I'm sure you don't want me to see me doing maths, because um, it's painful. And I'll be back once we've got them all set up, and I'll figure out a price for those skull items okay. as well. Okay, back and done. <laughs> Pardon me knocking my mouse there. So there he is. A big zombit and as we run up to the entrance here I've got him decorated, I put some carpet down for the drips of blood from his mouth and got a few heads outside and the ghoulish supermarket for all your Halloween needs so we got cobwebs pumpkins, nether axle sand scaly skulls bat eggs, uh, bat mob eggs because they'll despawn, they're not really good for anything, so if people want 16 of those to set loose, then uh, they can do. Zombie skulls, pumpkin pie, um, cauldrons, dead bushes, and mycelium, which I may regret if people plant that <laughs> in an area it could spread. I suppose the last thing to do, just so the first person who comes in here shopping gets a nice little surprise, is... Get out, get out, get out, get out. That's if they don't despawn, of course. Which they probably will do. But there we go, one Halloween shop. So the only thing left to do now around the spawn area itself, let's just whisk down here, is just make these a little bit, put some jack o' lanterns around and stuff, the closer to the actual tile oh, on earth. <laughs> Uh, she pillared up to have a bash on the skeleton. <laughs> uh, that will have to come down. But there you go. I wonder whether I got a message back. I uh, wonder. Let's just check this out. Because that. <coughs> suspiciously who placed that bunk Frey <laughs> so it's Frey's house but yeah we'll have to uh, get that cleaned up because it's not particularly nice and yeah fun you can swim up to the high ground there but yeah Anyway, I think that's enough from me for one evening. Um, I hope it's not been too tedious. It's been quite fun building these mob statues around the place. I say I'll probably stick a creeper in over here somewhere at some point. Um, although I don't think I'll do that on camera. I think you've probably had enough watching me to build giant mob statues. 
So until next time, guys. Um, see you and see you next time. Bye.